Thank you very much for tuning in to our third and final live stream for the night. It has been a long one. Uh, we live streamed Pokemon Let's Go earlier for about an hour and 45 minutes. We did Pokemon Quest, I mean Pokemon Magikarp Jump, sorry, for about half hour. Uh, so it's been about 2 hours and 15 minutes. And now we got Pokemon Quest to finish off the night, which should be longer than half an hour. So probably about three and a half hours of live streaming tonight, which is a lot longer than usual. Um, I did not get the chance to complete the, um, we're done with decorations, yeah. I did not get the opportunity to complete all of the, whatchamacallit, the, um, the Pokemon slots or the dailies. But I will be able to do as much as, I did as much as possible. So we'll go ahead and do what we can for right now. Um, I just wanted to play this game really tonight to see how, if I can, uh, get far enough in this game. I need the gems. I need gem slots. So I'm working on leveling up my Pokemon. So if I want to get into Night look, uh, Nightlight Hook Nook and complete that one, I need gem slots. So that just basically requires me to level up my Pokemon. Which isn't easy, but I'll do what I can. Alright, so... I don't really think there's anything to buy anymore in this game. Box expansions, decorations, everything's owned. Let me get these, I guess. PM tickets and stuff. But I'm not spending real life money. I wish you could just buy it with um, fake money, like the PM tickets. They should allow that by now. That'd be good for the game. But it doesn't look like they're ever going to come back to Pokemon... Magic Hub Jump and Quest ever anytime soon. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, it was 13 days ago. It was I've got 12 Pokemon, but it was 13 days ago last time I played this. So, we've got some water type Pokemon. So, let's use those to power up Jaboy. So, we got Slowpoke, we got Horsey, and that looks out and Star You. And Golding. So that's going to get you to 61. Let's go ahead and get that in the bag really quick. Water, 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 water. So from 59 to 61. Please give me my gem slot. Oh my fucking gosh. So close, man. 62. Alright, I'll give you Paris. Gem slot, please. Oh my, one more level. At level 63, I get the gem slot. Why? Alright, Alex, Sam, what can you do, bro? What can you do? You're really difficult to level up, my G. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say that now. Oh, you're nowhere near. Man, I didn't get that much from this. Kinda aids. Because I'm trying to level up this Alex, Sam. Well then. At least Koyster got some level ups that might help defensively prolong some fights. So, I can't do any cooking at the moment. Don't have enough recipes or regions. I'm going to try Nightlight Nook uh, number 9. And then we'll go ahead and hit up. You know what? No, I can't do it. So we're going to go ahead and do 10 dash until I can. I, until I can't anymore. Let's put it that way. Alrighty, everybody. Uh, Expedition 10. Far side Jord. Uh, bonus type with electric. 10-1 uh, requires a team total of 8,800. So my team should be good to go in this one. Um, get a couple more expeditions, I believe, after Expedition 10. But completing Expedition 10 is going to be a feat in itself so it might take me a couple of live streams to do this but I am gonna keep it on auto for right now because my team should be able to accomplish this without me having to take part let's just see if that's the case though because right now I've noticed this is an all water uh, an all water level and Flareon's not gonna have a good time here Also, Expedition 9 is giving me trouble, so I can only imagine Expedition 10 being like total aids for me. 
Like, I'll have no chance of defeating this place. But, I mean, these first few levels in Expedition 10, they're really, really low. But then it just skyrockets, like, midway. Like, the third and fourth level. It's just going to skyrocket into uh, team totals, and I'm nowhere near that. Alright, well, we're getting through this not too bad. My Pokemon kind of, the computer's kind of failing right now from, I'm not going to lie, it's, it's kind of struggling. I've also been trying to farm some Pokemon by daily logins to try to get some different ones to use for the team. The levels have been really low, so I haven't been able to really use them. That's three Golducks, I don't remember this. I don't remember this at all. Did he just get a Psycho? That was a juicy Psycho Cut. That was like perfect precision aim right there. We defeated these three Golducks with no problem. That was a good job team. And Cloyster coming in clutch too. That was nice. Good job guys. So let's go ahead and face off against the boss here. So far, this was a lot easier than expected. So if he's enough, he gets four star using a star me. That's not bad at all. We got this. My Alakazam's gonna do some bits. If he can live. If he can live. Living is the question. Oh, he did a lot of damage to star me. That was, that was good. Good enough. Get a psycho cut off on that cell you in the middle. Oh, you're already dead. Never mind. Uh, AoE with Fire Blast or Flamethrower would be great. There we go. Even though they're water types, they're still going to take enough damage from it. Spawn into a Psycho Cut. Oh my gosh, he did. Dude, why can't you guys play like this all the time? Look at this. The true precision and aim was so good. We kept the Sarmie in a corner and it couldn't get out. That was really good. Sweet. Next up, Expedition 10 level 2, team total of 9200, I am just above that, but again, like I said, at level 4, it just skyrockets from 99 to 12, and that is a huge jump in this game. Last time I did uh, Expedition 10 level 4, it was not fun. I had zero chance of getting through that, but it's been a while since then, so you never know now. More water types, man. I think this is the one where you fight against Kingdra or Cedra. What's up, Zyathel? Alright, so how are we going to get through this? I'm going to keep it... I think... I can keep this level on auto, which is good. Because look, my team right now is actually doing pretty good. So I don't have to really worry about this too much. Oh, there we go. One Pokemon on the sleep radar. He's just going to heal up and rest, which is really annoying. It's a lot of buffs that that Slowpoke, that slowpoke gets. That's not fair. Oh, come on, guys. Kill it before it heals up. Please, thank you. Hit me up with a barrier, Cloyster. You know what's up. Pre-fight barrier, though. No? 
He barely popped that pre-fight barrier. That could have been bad. We just, uh, Flurion over here just cooking up some, uh, clam chowder. Looking good. Alright, good. Got to face off against a cloister and we should be fine. Who also happens to know withdraw. Yeah, you're going to miss Alex, Sam. I already know. Ooh. You tried some over-the-water techniques. I remember this level being really bad. <laughs> With the spikes and stuff. Alright, so let's face off against the boss. Yep, it's, uh... Is that Kingdra? Or is that Seedra? It's Seedra. Oh, you can tell the difference between Kingdra and Seedra. Seedra is a little bit more beefy. Uh, Kingdra is a little bit, uh, a little bit more skinnier, and also uh, Kingdra, the wings are a little bit different. Seedra is just a little bit thicker. But we're getting through. This used to be a really difficult fight. We're getting through this really, really easy right now. This is good. Whirlpool. Not nice. Go. Why are you using Dazzling Gleam right now? You gotta go in with a Psycho Cut threat range, bro. Get in front of uh, Flareon for me. And start taking some of the Dam Dam. Like, back up, and then Psycho Cut. There we go. That actually worked. Look how much damage you just did, bro. And... Done. A lot of cooking regions too, which is a definite positive here. I wonder how far I'm going to be able to go in Expedition 10. You need to level up, Alex Sam. I'm not going to lie. I need you at 48, bro. Expedition 10, level 3. Team total of 9,900. See what we got. Should still be able to keep this on auto. Because my team technically is a lot higher level, kind of. And kind of in this game is enough. Don't remember the boss though on this. I really doubt it's a Seeking, but could be. I don't remember it. Why didn't you use Barrier? What's going on, bro? Why haven't you used Barrier? What, what is this trash? My Pokemon taking mad damage right now, bro. Can you not use Barrier? You know what? Turn it off. Barrier. There we go. Are you happy now? I used it for you. Damn, that's a lot of gold being popping up in this level. This is where Dazzling Gleam comes in. Didn't really use it. We're just cooking up some fish. Dude. There we go. Good job, Alakazam. You got one more set to deal with. They're really easy to kill. They really don't deal any damage either. So I'm healing more than taking damage throughout these fights, which is really good. I love how useless Alakazam's been this whole entire expedition. Oh, the perfect. Like, I don't get that though. You use Fire Blast, perfect trap card. But then you move to the other side so they don't get into it. It's like, let them come to you then. Finish that one off. Thank you. That dude's running away, Jose. Oh, coming in with a psycho cut. What's the boss on this level? Hit me up with that. Turning off auto. Hit it up with a barrier. Auto is back on. It can't be a Seeking, bro. 
That Golding dodged that icicle crash. That is crazy. Still almost at full health here. I have a feeling it's a seeking though. That can't be a difficult boss fight. What's crazy is how rare a seeking is to get in Pokemon. Not that easy of a Pokemon to get, like in the wild I'm talking about. In general, it's not a difficult Pokemon to get at all, but in the wild, in actual Pokemon games, it's not an easy Pokemon to get. Alright, so this should be the boss. It is a Seeking this whole time. Crazy, Psycho Cut. Nope, alright, cool. I mean, it's on cooldown, so that's why. It's now Psycho Oh, it's still on cooldown. Oof, perfect. Stay in range, bro. Stop going in melee, Alakazam. If anything can go into melee, it should be my cloister. I need you to come in clutch with a psycho cut. But you didn't. You just died, bro. Get a burn effect off, please, uh, Flareon. It's needed. This fish needs to be cooked well done. No lie. Oh, damn. Well, I mean, my cloister is not going to take any damage. So I'm basically just relying on Alakazam to wake up. Go in. That's it. Oh, this is just going to be a long fight then. Flareon, you kind of just miss it over here. One more. Uno hits. Done. Thank you. Oh, wow. That is a lot. I can actually look at my cooking now. Alright, so, 10-4 looks doable, we'll see. Yay, I can cook, that's when you know it's good. Alright, hold up, reset, auto set. What level? Only three. Perfect. I should be able to finish that today. Hopefully we get something from that. Actually, it doesn't even matter. I can use my stupid PM tickets to finish it. Gimme. Because I have no use for PM tickets anymore. XL size, not good, which kind of sucks. Got an Oddish. Level 80? Jokes, I'm joking, you can't get one that high. That was 70 though. Flash, why? But it knows pedal dance. I'm keeping the Oddish. That Oddish could come in clutch. Can't do cooking, which sucks. So I will skip that for now. Um, this Oddish can't come in clutch. Evolve it into a Vile Plume. We're gonna do some bits. But I wanna check something out. Because something else could come clutch. And it's that. Sorry, Oddish, you're leveling up my Alakazam. Because Alakazam's a lot better. Now, if that audition had different move sets, then that would have been a different story. Alright, Expedition 10, level 4. Please tell me we can complete this. Because I am turning off auto.
and I'm doing this myself. Because I know this is a difficult expedition to complete. Start off a barrier. Dad's gonna gleam this. Let's go. You guys finish that over there. Barrier. Alakazam's already taking too much damage. That's what I don't understand. He takes so much damage, even behind the shields and everything. That was actually good. Not bad at all. Because it kept uh, the boy out. It kept Alakazam out of the fight, pretty much, so he didn't take too much damage. Someone just attack it. It's dead. What was that aim, bro? What was the aim? Just let me know. The aim was so bad. Why so many water type Pokemon in Expedition 10? This isn't this isn't great. Ooh, the surfing. Hello. Which you don't want to see, but you get knocked back, so it ended up working. Alright, cool. We get to face off against the boss now. Perfect. And let's keep Alakazam away. <laughs> Ooh, it's a Kingler. So the Crab Hammer and the Vice Grip, I'm assuming, is going to be really bad. Uh, we're going in clutch. We're going in clutch right here now. Boom. Damn it, didn't mean to do that move. This could be bad. Alright. This is bad. We're running. Do, 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 do. Actually, get one of these off. While they're all there, you got the freeze. Perfection. I'm gonna actually hold off until Arakazam spawns into Psycho Cat. There you go. Can you run? Nope. Okay. Damn it! Didn't get it off. I was. I'm. I'm stupid. I stooped it. I understand. I see. I see the stupid mistakes. I mean, this, we're going to complete this. That's not the question. The question is, how long do I want this to be? Alexan actually, run away, please. Nope, you didn't get him to go far. All right. What the hell, bro? That was freaking fire. Icicle crash, get a double freeze, please? A freeze would have been nice. Dude, whatever that move is, it hurts. So relax. Yay! Oh, they're both. Uh, no, he actually survived. Hey, that, that move actually helped. <laughs> Gaz and Gleam actually helped Alec Kazam survive that. That's another expedition completed. Well, expedition stage completed. Completing this expedition, I don't know about that.
Alright, so we got some new gems. Let's see how these gems work with the crew. The crew might want these gems. Because they look pretty high level. 437, that is higher than your 344. And your 348. You've got all the highest ones. Good. Alex Sam, hit you up. Gonna give you, because that is better than your. Hold up. Nope, that is not better than anything. So I'm gonna redo this. Give me a second here. Some of these gems just don't make sense to me. Okay, starting off with Cloyster, because Cloyster is actually my uh, my main Pokemon for this. When it comes to defense. And it only has defensive uh, gems, anyways. Hopefully the next one is defensive. And then Flareon gets what's left. Because it actually works out. Alright, sweet. Let's see if we can get any more uh, Pokemon from the uh, cooking. My team score should have went up slightly. A little bit. When you can cook, you're loving it. Still Mulligan? Lame. Another XL size, though. So you got a Nidoran level 70 plus, please? 58. Hmm. Mud Slap and Growl. Not what you want. Not what you want. Let's see if we can train anything. Who's close to leveling up? You're not. You will. So, welcome. Get to another level, my G. Okay, out of there. Got another level on Alakazam. The more the merrier. Always helps. Hold up. I might be able to do another one. What am I doing? Doubt it, but you never know. Yeah, I doubt it. <laughs> Expedition 10 level 5. This is now at 14,300. So we're getting nuts here. Can we complete it? Who knows? Who even knows? But let's see if we can just get this expedition to boss mode. Ooh, facing off against bird is the word. So Icicle Crash can come in handy here, if it ever lands. Dude, he's getting gang banged over here fam, come on, help him out. Alright, so Alakazam took the, the blunt force of that whole 
tobacco right there. Oh, now we're back to the water types. Not good. This is not what you want to see, fam. It's not what you want to see. I like what Flareon did there. Ran back to the crew. Flareon wasn't going to hit the other one, so I frontal cloned it to keep it away from the water types. I wonder what the bow. Oh. So this is just weird. Yeah, this is. So Icicle Crash is still not doing anything. Against, even if it's super effective, it's just not doing much. Got one more. Ooh, that's a Pidgeot. Not what you want to see, boys. Not what you want to see at all. Yeah, this thing's really good. This thing's powerful. This thing's so strong, fam. How'd you use Icicle Crash right there? I'd love to know. Dude, what the hell? Why are you so strong? What the? I can't do anything to this. Just touch it. Thank you. Damn, that was a powerful Pokemon. Really? Three Dodrios? What the freaking hell is this, fam? This is not fair. Not fair at all. I need a freeze effect, bro. You didn't give me a freeze effect. What's these exclamation marks? Like, they're stupidly OP, these things. Focus on one, guys. Can you hit something for once in your life, Playster? Uh, no. You're dead. That sucks. Both dead. All right, run away. They're they're OP guys. They're OP. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I can't do anything against these stupid fast birds. I need Alakazam to respawn. And quick, because it's three v one. If I can get rid of one, that would it's doable. Damn it. Not doable. <laughs> it's not doable. I mean, this isn't too bad. Of course I'm going to take that. It's got the stupid rainbow thing in it. Right, let me check that gem out, though. Oof! That's a big boy gem. I gotta equip that. Wrong button. You ain't sending me messages, fam. People want to slide in my DMs. Stop clicking the wrong button. Alright, 511 over 446. 
Flareon gets the 446. Over the 380. 300. Alakazam gets the freaking Dodrios all day, every day. Why is the aim so bad? So we're phasing off against Starmie this time. That wasn't what we saw last time. And so far this is going a lot worse than last time. Flareon's just so good in this game now. He's doing so much beast damage. Run away for a bit. Oh, okay, never mind. Alakazam teleported and spawned right where you don't want him to. I don't understand Icicle Crash. Doesn't do much damage. Say again the same thing. Get a freeze effect off. You don't get the freeze off. It pisses me off, fam. How am I in this situation again? And it's a lot worse. You just don't want to freeze anything anymore, do you? Nope, that is terrible aim. Tried to clutch, but it didn't. <laughs> Tried it, but it didn't. Uh, this is not going good. So this Pidgeot's using different move set than the last one. Like this should be the boss, but it's not. It's like what the hell, fam? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? You're doing this to me and I can't do anything. So, I can't do that one. Let's go try a more difficult one. Just because I know how this one works. I love how Psycho Cut didn't hit anything.
Please follow my Flareon. Thank you. That's so much damage. It's a Gengar that I'm going to have to face off against, which is going to be so frustrating. Flareon, just get the kill. Oh, we still got to face off against this guy? I love how they don't run away. Well, how? Flareon, are you dumb? I had you run away. Well, now I gotta wait. Run together, you two. Stop going to separate ways. Oh, what? Oh, Flareon, what are you, what? You dumb? Oh, it was too early, too. Oh, you stupid. Go away. Where's Cloyster? I'd love to know. Oh, not when you, you can't see. <laughs> you can't see your Pokemon. Great. I love when the game does that. The game doesn't allow you to see what's going on. Thanks. And I'm paralyzed, so my guy won't do anything. <laughs> This game. Why? Whoa, why is he so fast? That wasn't fair. I got a lot of work to do, guys. Too much work, in fact. I did complete a new level today, which is good. I just need a couple levels. On these Pokemon. And I also need a new Pokemon to add to the crew that hopefully gets a good moveset, which I don't think I can do still. Like, I'm still one off. I'm just gonna try. I'm trying something here. What's up, unusual? Alright, let's see what I get. It's not a silver pot, sadly, but let's see what we do. Onyx, okay, I mean, it's doable. Nope, I'm just really, really tired. 29, not what you want to see. Can I do one more? No. Okay. Um, actually. No, I don't want to waste that. So, can anyone, uh, benefit from you, Onyx? Because you're absolute trash to me. Huh. 
Huh, I'm gonna have to use you towards Cloyster because Cloyster is the closest to getting a new gem. But not what I wanted to see. But thank you all very much for tuning in tonight. I was alive for nearly four hours today. It will be four hours in just a few minutes. So I'm dead tired, but I will be back tomorrow. Stay tuned and peace.